And turning now to San Francisco and a push from Mayor London Breed to reshape downtown. The goal is to bring 30,000 new residents and students to a neighborhood which lost a lot during the pandemic and even well after it. One part of that plan is to convert some empty office buildings into housing. Kara St. Cyr has more on one building's looming transformation. Years after the pandemic started, downtown San Francisco is still weathering the storm after businesses left the city in droves, leaving a trail of empty buildings like the Humboldt Bank on Market Street. But where business was lacking, housing advocates saw an opportunity. We don't have a downtown like we used to, where people are coming in and working five days a week. So we need to create more homes and more spaces for people to live near all the great amenities that are down here. Jane Natoli is the San Francisco organizer at Yimby Action. Her group is pushing for more buildings in the city to be converted into housing units to reduce homelessness and possibly curb rent prices for middle-income families. She says the Humboldt Building is the perfect place to start, and now she's seeing that wish realized. On Monday, Forge Development Partners revealed they're investing $70 million to convert the old bank into 120 apartment units for middle-income residents. This project is the latest development in the company's effort to build more housing for San Francisco. Mayor London Breed spoke after the announcement, saying the building is a testament to what downtown San Francisco can become. We have other buildings that we have identified, and we want to make it easier to get to this point, and more importantly, we want to make it easier to do more in these places downtown. Del Seymour, the self-proclaimed mayor of the Tenderloin, was among the notable faces in the crowd. He says the Humboldt building model could be applied to several abandoned businesses across downtown, including the recently vacated X headquarters. I think a building like X, the old furniture mark, could be converted into a massive family housing unit situation. They got rooftop decks, they got everything in there. I've been in that building a million times, and uh, we don't we don't mourn that they're leaving, but we mourn, but, but we're celebrating the fact that we can make those buildings affordable housing. Construction on the Humboldt building hasn't broken ground yet, but developers say the project will begin by the end of this year, with occupancy expected to be filled by 2025. In addition to the conversion program, the city has also started its vacant to vibrant program that offers several months of free rent for pop-up businesses to set up shop in empty downtown spaces.